Well, to try to figure out how this pressure works in SOLIDWORKS, I created a three inch diameter solid part, uh, 10, 10 hot rolled, uh, 18 inches long. And then I set myself up with a direction there where I could apply, um, to apply the pressure in that direction. Let's go take a look at the static load. So yeah, what I did is I anchored the back face and I applied this pressure um, along that particular direction. Let's go make sure I've got that sort of like I'm saying. So edit definition. Uh, yep, so I've selected that cylindric face and I've set the 100 PSI to act on that face. Now, um, what I was wondering is, and, and the pressure is, you know, going in the direction of that, uh, of that axis uh, drawn line. So what I was wondering is, is the force, the, you know, is it, per, is it by projected area? In other words, I take that 100 PSI, is it operating over the diameter, projected area be diameter times length? Or, or just how is it working? So let me take a look at uh, what the analytics might look like. If it were projected area, I would be getting the diameter of three times the length of 18 times the pressure and, and the resultant of all of that would be 5,400 pounds. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, I ran the test and then um, you know, I've got my, you know, of course it wants to give me Von Mises, that's okay. But one thing I could do is I can uh, do a list resultant force here, which I do from time to time. So I wanna, what I want to do is go and take a peek at what's happening on this back face from a force perspective. Uh, so let's do that. So I come here and I uh, want to click that face right there, update, and I'm getting, um, gosh, it looks like 16,964 um, in the Y direction. So we display resultant forces, what's that look like, update. Yeah, it gives me a nice little vector look there going in the Y direction. Yeah, so that's offsetting the pressure, whatever that uh, 16,964. So I go back to my little uh, Excel file here and I said, well, crap, it's giving me, what is it? 16,964 uh, and I start scratching my head. And I'm going, well, gosh, that looks like I'm off by, you know what, a factor of 3.14, that looks like I'm off by a factor of pi. Professor, I'm off by a factor of pi. Uh, I, you know, how can that be? Well, doggone it. It must be looking at the whole surface. So if I were to take pi uh, times three, and uh, then I were to take, you know, of course, the rest of this, yeah, so it's modeling that pressure as though it's acting around the whole circumference, um, you know, times that length. So as long as you know that, you can sort of uh, finagle this in order to get that um, more of the look I was looking for. But as long as you know how it works, um, then you can do the distributed load. Um, you can achieve what it is that you want without having to do some kind of crazy uh, split or um, or whatnot. Anyway, so uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that.